Yeah, and we got my man. What is going on? Jesse Cash, Aikens Ford, Wild Willies, bringing you another beautiful Bronco Badlands. It is fixing to head out to St. Louis any minute now. Uh, a great customer of mine, Michelle, uh, her and her husband live up there in St. Louis. Did a whole build process on this thing. So excited to bring it to you. Let's review. So there's no better duo in the business than Jesse and Real Deal. And Jesse's got it going on because Michelle saw our videos and said, I'm gonna go after the salesperson that Neil mentions the most because obviously he's probably got a lot of integrity if he's doing what we're doing. So that's right, y'all. Hey, if you're out there in the big ocean and you're not making waves, you're gonna be lost, y'all. So we love what we're doing. This is not an advertisement. People say, oh, go, go make us a commercial. It's not a commercial. This ain't no commercial, y'all. This is life and we love this. Me and Jesse, let's go, baby. So we're excited and I failed. I failed, y'all, because I got the Albert Pujols and the St. Louis swag and I forgot it. Dang it, man, Jesse, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to hold me more accountable, dude. I, know, I, know, I, I mean, like that was that would have been huge. So I'm a St. Louis Cardinal fan. I'm St. Louis fan. Played a lot of baseball in Joplin, Missouri. But this is unbelievable. This is just hitting totally different. And our custom vehicles they multiply. They have babies. We did one very similar to this. It was actually our second Bronco build ever. Apex Edition. Another Apex right here in carbonized gray fashion. It being a Badlands, you've got some nice, you can tell by the subtleties in our paint on the side, we've got that Badlands orange going on and it hits different when you got the facing in black and the border side and inside that same color from the Badlands. Just like on the fuel covert wheel, you got the same color on the fuel logo just for a great variation. 35, 12 and a half, 17 Nitto Ridge grapplers. The prior one was on 37s, for, so as far as an everyday driver. So the 35 inch tire is definitely better than the 37 as far as everyday drivability and honing in the build that's specific to each customer is what we're all about. It's not about, oh, we did it in 37s back then, we're gonna do it again. No, it's what can we do to make it most unique and custom and special for you, the individual. That's what it's about, y'all. That's why you gotta come mess with us. Just like up front, this grill did carbonized gray, did the Oracle uh, surround lighting, the backlit, and did it totally different. Normally we do the whole facing there or just the side. We did the facing black and a pinstripe, first time ever. Austin is so mad at me, y'all, because this was something that I hinted at that she should do and she took it and Austin was like, oh my God, this is so detailed and tough to do, y'all, but that's what makes it special. All the intricacies and details that we have here. Got the modular bumper. They're here, are they? So we just got the call that they're here. We're knocking this bad boy out. Had to bring it to her. Modular bumper up front. We've got the Morimoto uh, triple fog kit down below. It looks great. Got the amber on the outside to go along with our uh, accents throughout. This thing, it turned out amazing to me because of the flow of the custom paint down the side with the custom side badge. We had the Icon, the Icon, one of the best there is. I'm super impressed with them. They got the Delta joint, upper control arm. This is a three inch coilover, full replacement. You got uh, anti-intrusion bars that are modified as well, uh, just to make sure you have safety and full clearance there. Looking great with the infab step bar down the side, the custom bad lads graphic down the side as well. It's just a clean and classy carbonized gray with the Badlands, yellow, orangey, whatever y'all want to think it is. Nittos, 35s, 17. The covert matches the carbonized gray perfectly. Got the. Can we talk about that real quick? Yeah, what up, dog? Let's talk about the Bronco on the back. At first glance, you won't notice what's going on with it, but let's. Sh what we got, Jesse? We got we got a little. So we got a little, we painted the Bronco on the back and we put that Badlands orange on the eye. It's super subtle, man, just but eye. it just looks it's, 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 it's like, man, you, you you don't even see it, then you're like, there's a piece of dirt on it. Oh, oh it comes alive, it comes alive, y'all. What you know, the details. Hey, these are 50 state compliant, 70% light emittance coming through these. You see that, still plenty of light coming through there. Looks amazing, cleans it up very nicely. This rear Ford emblem uh, did, Correlating colors, black and carbonized gray. Mild to wild scale with that zero offset, we're sticking it in a good spot. Then those 17 by nine. Negative 12 offset, we're sticking out about three and a half inches there. It's a perfect balance for a perfect build for a perfect couple from St. Louis. You heard me. So look, we're about to go meet them. They're here right now. Jesse, let's keep this thing rolling. Let's just go see what's up. Let's, let's go. Words of wisdom waters? Oh, I'm in a real big hurry, but good to see all y'all out there. <laughs> Pretty 
priceless first impressions. Are you happy with just the eye? Do you like just the eye? Very subtle, but it's like, man. So are we Cardinals fans? Well, I, I'm... I messed up. I messed up because I got, I got an old Pujols jersey and Cardinal. I mean, oh, that's my bad. That's my bad. That's <laughs>